Hey guys! Reunion Island is a small piece of France in the Indian Ocean that is rich with European aristocracy and African flavor. You can see luxurious colonial style mansions in almost every city on the island, and all the road signs are written in French. Today we're going to talk about why this island is interesting and about one of the most expensive roads in the history of France that's being built in the ocean. So Reunion is 970 square miles, which is about the size of Luxembourg. If you want to find it on a map quickly, look about 430 miles off the coast of Madagascar. For a long time, Reunion was able to maintain its status as a place completely free of people. But that all changed in the 10th century, when Arabian ships started arriving on its shores. However, they weren't in a rush to settle. Fast forward to the early 16th century, Portuguese sailors, led by explorer Diogo Fernandes, found a few island chains in the area, and his people were their first settlers. Over time, Arabians, Indians, Africans, and Chinese also came to the islands. The island turned into a mixing pot for peoples and cultures. A Creole nation with its own language and customs came about. Now in 1642, Reunion came under French rule. It changed hands and names many times, but it's been part of France's overseas department since 1946. Naturally, it is part of France and the EU, so the currency used on the island is the euro, even though it's almost 5,600 miles away from mainland France. The Reunion GDP per capita is 25,000, less than in France, but greater than the average in the region with a low crime rate, excellent medicine, and a high level of happiness. Reunion Island was made by volcanic activity and is the above-water part of an ancient volcano. Volcanic activity left its mark on the island's mountainous terrain. Steep mountain ranges stretch along the island from the northwest to the southeast, and the central part of the island is near peaks stretching to 6,500 up to 11,000 feet high. The volcanoes play a big role in modern-day life, too. So there are two on the island, and the main one is called Piton de la Fournaise, and it is over an impressive 500,000 years old. It's famously popular, and is one of the most active volcanoes on the planet. For 10 years, the volcano has erupted about once every nine months, but luckily, its incredible activity doesn't harm the people. With each eruption, the volcano grows, and now it's 8,600 31 feet tall. Thanks to the volcano, the locals and tourists can enjoy Black Grand Boulet Valley that looks like it's from another planet. Now, the second volcano, Piton de Neige, is the highest peak on Reunion, and unlike its brother, it's long extinct. Its last eruption was 20,000 years ago, and it's now enjoyed by climbers and hikers. Now, despite the fairly small area, the island has several types of microclimates. They're determined by two key factors, the elevation and the direction of the prevailing winds. The north of Reunion is mostly humid, with the south being drier, and the humidity and temperature in the mountain regions are lower than near the coast. Reunion is a place where several cultures combined harmoniously, and that caused its historical development to be pretty unique. So currently, about 25% of the population are descendants of the first French settlers. But there are also the descendants of previous slaves living alongside them peacefully. Now, slavery was outlawed in the late 19th century. And then people from China, India, Yemen, Indonesia, and Africa started coming to the island independently for contract work. Naturally, the French influence is really strong on the island. For example, the western coast is almost a twin of the French Riviera, while the eastern coast doesn't look as touristy. Small shop and cafe owners are primarily focused on the needs of locals there. 
Despite the official language being French, most of the population speaks Creole, a mix of French, Malagasy, and African languages. But the national differences still exist. Classes often come from Africa. The island elite are pure French. Some come from France and are drawn by the high salaries in the government sector, but many have lived on the island for several generations. The next level down is made up of Indian descendants. They are usually well-educated and fairly rich. Their French isn't as good, and their home traditions are slightly different. The Indians don't work for the government as much, and mostly work in business. Most of the population is Creole, descendants of various peoples and cultures. They know French, but mostly speak the Creole language. Despite most of them not working and living on welfare, their quality of life is much higher than in Africa. Compared to neighboring Madagascar and Mozambique, reunioners live like gods. The island's industry is poorly developed, and much is brought from Europe. Most of the agriculture is sugarcane, with plantations popping up at the turn of the 19th century by the English, who used to control the island. Rum is made from the sugarcane that is exported along with vanilla, geranium extract, and other exotic aromas. Coffee is also grown. Part of the population fishes, raises sheep, or works in tourism that has actively grown over the last few years. Now, Reunion has excellent roads, but you should drive carefully since there are cameras everywhere and it's easy to get speeding tickets. The narrow streets and cities are often one way, and free parking is only available at grocery stores. There are many cars on the island, so traffic jams are a daily occurrence. The population is quite large, too, at 860,000 people. The old highway connecting the island's two main cities, the commercial port Pointe de Galtes, and the capital La Possession, where you'll find the international airport, runs along volcanic rock, so it is always damaged by rock slides, landslides, floods, and sill flows. These natural occurrences cause regular accidents, sometimes fatal ones, and constant traffic jams as a result. Regular incidents require the highway to be closed for long times, at least once or twice a week. This affects trade, which depends on trucks following the route. This highway, despite the danger, is fairly active. About 80,000 people use it at least once a day. So due to the danger of using the road in the early 2010s, the French decided to develop and then build a new coastal highway. So the engineers came up with an obvious but unusual solution. The new highway will be unique because it won't be built on land, but on water. Supports will be built into the ocean floor, which will remove the rock slides and sill flows. The new coast road will be 7.8 miles long, and 260 to 1,000 feet from the coast to avoid disasters. It will be split into three sections, two dry dikes and one 3.3-mile viaduct. Considering the open ocean location, the infrastructure will have to endure substantially serious weather and sea conditions like cyclones and tides, as well as changing geotechnical conditions. Now, due to the complexity of the highway and its location, the reinforced concrete parts will be made on land to avoid the effects of the tide and reduce working time on the water. The port zone has two production locations to make docks and segments. The new factories have already made 1,386 segments, each weighing 210 to 285 tons, as well as 48 main supports. All of the construction pieces are delivered by ship and installed using the world's largest floating construction crane and 16 gigantic crane towers that can lift from 35 to 220 tons. To make the viaduct durable, it is being laid on massive reinforced concrete supports to make the new highway resistant to hurricane winds that can reach speeds of 90 miles an hour. 
and waves up to 33 feet tall that can be 100 feet above sea level. The highway itself will be 100 feet wide, making it comfortably fit three lanes in both directions and leave space for bikes and pedestrians. The total cost of the project is about two billion, with a B, dollars. The French government set aside 622 million, and the rest is coming from various sources, including private EU investors. Work on this amazing ocean road should have finished in 2020, but the construction was delayed due to the pandemic and is still ongoing. But we can already confidently say it's one of the most unusual highways on a very unusual island. Reunion Island is a place that you could call heaven on earth. It has absolutely stunning nature and very hospitable, friendly people. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to leave us a like, comment, let me know. Would you like to visit Reunion Island as a tourist? And uh, we'll see you again next time.